game today. What was it like out there? Maya, can you hear us? No. No. <laughs> I think Hi, she Maya. can read our lips, though. <laughs> So we're having uh, some audio difficulties, obviously, with Maya Brady. With Maya. Okay. All right. She looks good. Plays well. Yeah. Plays better. She hit well today, too. Yeah, I can hear that. <laughs> well, and I, I mean, something that stands out to me about this young lady is the fact that she really had to turn into this leader this year, right? Like, at times, she's made it clear, like, hey, I got to be able to ride the yeah. coattails of Aaliyah Jordan and Megan Fremo and Garcia. So I think the key, to me, that stands out about this young lady has been her leadership and, and is what has gotten them to this point. All right. Want to go take two? <laughs> hey, Maya, can you hear us now? Yeah. All right, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Maddie? Maya, we were just talking about the leadership for you in, in that piece what were the conversations like coming into the game today yeah I mean I think just allowing for this team to you know be their best when their best is needed and I think that uh, we were able to do that today um, I think just going into this game super relaxed we don't have a lot of experience on the World Series stage so I think at the end of the day just really going out there and playing UCLA softball well and, and Keila Terry for me right like we talked about it last weekend like going into these different games and not having that experience can sometimes be a blessing because you don't know yeah. conversations that whether you were having or Lisa Fernandez or Rob Schweier with this young lady before the start today yeah I mean I think Honestly, it's kind of like you said, ignorance is bliss. I mean, she's such a competitor. Uh, to her core, she's a competitor, and I think uh, that ignorance uh, mixed with that fire is an amazing combination for someone like her, especially a young pitcher. Um, with this offense behind her, I think, honestly, it allows her to throw fearless, and I think just kind of like you said, the ignorance plus her kind of just dog is the perfect combination, and I just love playing behind her. Maya, you're on the bases when Jordan Worley sends that one out to left field. One, how quickly did you know that it was about to leave the ballpark? And two, what's it like playing with her and having so many offensive powers in your lineup? Honestly, I think I literally stopped, turned around, and watched the ball go out. I literally wanted to make sure it went out. So, I mean, it was just, she just hammered that ball. It was right in her area code. So, honestly, Jordan is the best teammate. She's one of my best friends, um, just a quality person overall. And she goes into every day of practice, every game, and she gives players like me confidence, you know, and I've been here before. And she makes me feel like I can be myself on the field and, you know, just play free. And uh, just seeing her get the results after this year and, you know, she's produced, but, you know, sophomore slump is real. And, you know, she's gone through it this year. And just to see her, like, come on this stage and get that outcome was just amazing. I just love playing with her and I'm gonna miss her a lot. So it's special. To me, you guys are the queens of coming back. There's never a panic button. It's usually that third time through the lineup yeah. or the fifth inning. Yeah. Just talk about that process of being in your first game, the Women's College World Series. The nerves are there. You won't take that piece away. But how your team continues to stay composed through those innings, especially going late into games. Yeah. I mean, going against a quality opponent like that and, you know, having to come back late in the game is definitely uncomfortable. But I think what we've done really well this year is being comfortable in the uncomfortable. Um, and that's something that we worked on from the beginning of the year. We had conversations about that. Um, we knew this year wasn't going to be pretty, and, you know, we didn't expect it to go undefeated. We didn't expect to, you know, have it look like the UCLA softball that everybody might, you know, be used to seeing. Um, and that goes for us players, too. It might not have been what, you know, we were used to. But at the end of the day, we we really bought into the it's already written mantra that we say a lot. Um, and I think it just gives us a little bit of weight off our shoulders, and it allows us to play free even when, you know, we're down 7-0, 4-0. It allows us to literally just come together, do a little brood magic, and, you know, the results take care of themselves. But I think it's honestly just, you know, the buy-in from this team um, into the process and that everything works out. And um, at the end of the day, I think we trust each other and we play at a place of love. So I think that can be super powerful and it can give you really good results. So. All right. Thank you so much, Maya. Certainly some brewing magic this afternoon. We will yeah. see you again on Saturday. Thank you. All right, Maya Brady and UCLA. Nail-biter for a while, but they were able to beat Alabama to advance on. And look who's on the field. We see three-time defending champion Oklahoma Sooners getting ready to take on Duke in their first appearance ever in OKC.